Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ravindi and uh, I'm a reproductive medicine consultant that is like I'm a fertility doctor and uh, the topic for the next couple of minutes is going to be freeze your eggs for your reproductive freedom. See in the news how many celebrities like Priyanka Chopra, Kim Kardashian, Paris Hilton have openly spoken about it, about freezing their eggs. So what exactly is this oocyte freezing or freezing your eggs? It's a process wherein we retrieve the eggs of a woman from her ovary and freeze them for a later use when she's ready to conceive and to get pregnant. So why do women opt for freezing their eggs? Firstly, unlike in men, women have a very narrow fertility period. That is, once a woman reaches the age of 35 years, uh, the number of eggs in her body start to decline and there's a steep decline from 35 to 40 years and by the age of 45, we can barely find any eggs in our body. Secondly, after the age of 35 years, the chances of having an uh, abnormal baby or an anomalous baby will slightly go high. When you look at Down syndrome, when a woman is around 35 years of age, the chances of or the risk of Downs would be around 1 in 400. As she reaches 45, the chances or the risk of Downs will go as high as 1 in 30, so which is like very high. So when a woman wishes to have her own biological child, but not really ready to conceive now or get pregnant, then the only answer for this would be freeze her eggs when she is young. And some of the patients who have, uh, I mean, who are suffering from cancer, uh, can opt for oocyte freezing before they can go for their chemotherapy. The next couple of questions in everybody's mind is. What would be is it painful? Is it invasive? Is it expensive? Where do we start? How do we start? So simple, you'll have to make an appointment with a fertility consultant on day two or three of your cycle. So once you come to the clinic, we will have to run certain blood tests and then do a transvaginal ultrasound in which we will have the rough estimate of the number of eggs in your body. It's called the antral follicle count. That is, we will get to know, uh, we will see the number of follicles in each ovary. And we can just have the rough estimate of how many eggs we might get to freeze. So finally, when you're ready, you'll have to come on day two or day three of your cycle. Then we'll start off with the gonadotropin injections. Gonadotropins are nothing but the hormonal injections. And we start off from day two or three, and that goes on for next 10 to 12 days. In between, we'll have to do a couple of scans and run a couple of tests to just see how the eggs are growing. And once the eggs are ready, the follicle size is appropriate, we give something called as the trigger injection. And then exactly 36 hours after that, you're ready for the egg pickup. And this is how the egg pickup procedure goes on. So we use the same transvaginal probe, but then a needle is attached to the end. This needle goes inside and sucks out the follicular fluid. This will be passed on to the embryologist. The embryologist will take a look at it and then separate the oocytes with the cumulus and then place them on a media to keep it alive and then place it inside the incubator for a while to mimic the body temperatures. These eggs are then taken out, then denuded and the matured uh, oocytes will be placed on the straws. After placing these oocytes, they are dipped immediately into the liquid nitrogen for vitrification. That is fast freezing without formation of ice crystals. Ice crystals potentially damage the oocytes. Once the vitrification is done, we place them inside a liquid nitrogen tank along with thousands of other uh, oocytes and embryos. And during these 10 to 12 days, you should not indulge into any 
heavy workout or uh, you should not be having any intercourse and do not take any other antibiotics or other medicines next thing what is the success like what is the success rate so when we vitrify the oocytes the survival of the oocytes is around 84% and when we do a slow freezing it's around 56% so these days it's just vitrification and we are not into slow freezing next thing is uh, the embryo survival is slightly better than that of the oocyte survival the next question would be how long can we freeze these eggs well the true answer would be indefinite you can freeze them as long as you want them to be frozen but then ideally it would be not more than 10 years the next question would be is it a guaranteed procedure where well, thousands of babies were born out of frozen eggs and of those thousands of babies there were some babies who were born out of eggs which were frozen for more than 14 years studies show that there is no increase in the birth defects or genetic defects of the babies born out of the frozen eggs and there is no difference in the uh, complications arising in pregnancy because of uh, frozen eggs do we need two or more settings well ideally we aim at getting around 15 to 20 oocytes so if we don't get them in a single go yes we might need to go for another setting and it's always better to freeze around 15 to 20 oocytes so at the end i hope the video was useful and definitely for having a reproductive freedom and to have your own biological child at the later ages it's always better to freeze your eggs when they're healthy thank you